Hi everyone, so a bit of a different video, it's going to be a much shorter one. I'm just going to show you how I've installed these new Ruby tags with my Serbo GX system. So these guys are Bluetooth thermometers. Um, they s can track humidity and track movement as well. They come in a number of models. I've got three of them here. So I've got the white sensor here that does the temperature, the humidity and the movement. And I've got the pro version in the black box that I'm going to be mounting outside the bus. So the reason why I want an outdoor sensor is A, I'm a bit of a geek and I just like to know what's knocking about outside. And B, um, I'm going to be using it to actually hopefully use the relay system in the Serbo to turn my tank blankets on. So there's a few things that you need to do at the moment to get this to work with uh, your Vitron system. So first thing to point out, it'll work with any system running the Venus OS. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the Venus OS is updated to version 2.80, which at the moment is a release candidate. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to navigate to where your settings are and to firmware. You can put up here, you can see the firmware version at the moment is version 2.5.6. That is the current version that's available. However, I've switched on the ability to basically access any available candidates. So if I come to here now, I can select latest release candidate, that's important. Press the check, and it'll bring up this update to 2.80. I'm gonna do that. I'll start updating my servo with the latest uh, Venus OS. And this is the first step to allowing you to use the Ruby tags. All right, so when they arrive, they come with this little tag in there. Just like any coin cell battery, really, pull that out. And it activates itself. So what you will find is when you do pull it out, it just releases the case and you can just close that. But Actually, inside, let me just show you. You've got the Ruby inside. It's blinking away and you've got a big coin battery in there and they reckon they'll last up to two years or something. But yeah, you just you can see the seal around the side. Yeah, now at the moment, because I'm in the middle of the build, the one that I'm having for my inside temperature, I'm just gonna pop up safely on like a glue dot up high so I can track the inside temperature. This guy here, I'm going to mount underneath the bus um, with the two screws that are provided with it. At this point, when you check um, VRM or your GX device, you might be lucky and see it in the VRM portal. However, if it, if it doesn't show up, you need to just take one more step. Navigate to the settings in your VRM menu. And at the bottom, there is a section I slash O. If you go into there, you'll see a Bluetooth menu. Go in there, make sure that that's switched on, and then basically it will show the sensors underneath. <clears throat> At which point, what I did is I toggled them on, and then they'll show up in your VRM view, and you'll be able to see it on the right-hand side. The final thing that you may want to do is update what your sensors are called. So this is again done in the VRM menu. Find the sensor, it will be under, be called a generic temperature sensor. Figure out which does which. So in this case, my indoor sensor does the humidity, does the movement and it does the temperature. So I know that's my indoor one. I've updated it in the console. I've done this on my laptop, but you can do it on your phone or on your um, GX device itself. Hit enter, and then when you refresh the page, you'll see that it's updated. So at the moment, I've got my indoor and outdoor sensor set, and I've got one to go in my fridge at a later date too. And that's the main steps that you need to take. So hopefully it's a bit more straightforward for you. Hopefully this helps. Um, hope you enjoy your Ruby tags.